Welcome back, my name is OmniFlash and I'm your guide to Diablo Immortal. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Diablo Immortal in just 10 minutes. This video will cover what class you should be and what class your friend should be. It's going to cover everything else you need to know, okay? It's not clickbait. We're going to tell you how to level fast, what gear to focus on, what items that you want to get. Everything you need to know will be in this video. Diablo Immortal is not just for your phone. You'll be able to play on PC and play on your phone and on your iPads all at the same time. You just use one Battle.net account. So get your Battle.net account now. You'll be able to play the game on your mobile devices on June 1st. You'll be able to play on your PC on June 2nd. All classes are not gender locked. You can choose whatever you want. You could be a male barbarian, female barbarian, male crusader, female crusader, anything you want. You could be a male demon hunter, a female demon hunter. All of them are available for you to pick and choose and customize. Right now, you'll be able to go in and you'll be able, there are sliding shaders so you can customize what you look like. Make sure you customize it exactly how you want to look. All right, so if you or one of your friends love doing insane amounts of damage and wants to be the god of PvE, which is damage versus bosses, da damage versus waves and waves of AI control mobs, you will want to be the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter has insane range. They can shoot while they're moving using crossbow shot, great wave clear using multi-shot, and also Vengeance and Reign of Vengeance, super in, uh, intense single target damage. That is what a Demon Hunter provides. There is a trade-off. Being the god of PvE means in order to balance the class, they have very bad movement in PvP. So in PvP, every other class has really nice gap closers and teleports and they can dash to you and you might be screwed if you are alone. However, they can be viable in PvP if you have a strong front line that can actually block the enemies from getting to you. But if the enemies dash to you, you may be in trouble as your only way of escape is pretty bad. Daring Swing is very slow compared to other people's dashes and, uh, and <laughs> they can ride a horse to chase you down. So out of your friends, I recommend one of you be a demon hunter. Usually, whoever enjoys PvE the most, who doesn't care as much about PvP, because demon hunters just aren't that great at PvP at this moment. And I, I think it's good, uh, it's good this way. This way, you know, demon hunters won't be too overpowered, and they have their own niche of being the PvE gods. Legendary items demon hunters will want is the hungerer, the offhand from the battle pass. You will also want a sky striker's pauldron. You want flame spite. You also want the cow of absolute punishment, hailfire, heart of vengeance, vision of the lost. Now in PvP, there are two classes that super excels, which is the barbarian and the crusaders. They are both meat shields and will complement the demon hunter very well they will excel in pvp and will also clear pve quite well but they're not very good at defeating bosses i would also recommend that your shot color either be a crusader or a barbarian they're very fast frontline characters that can see the whole field of battle they're able to get from point to point and direct your team so your shot color needs to be durable uh, the Barbarian has Undying Rage that makes him invulnerable for almost 6 seconds every 30 seconds. Crusaders has his Pony that allows them to speed across the, uh, the land and also stun people while doing that. So you're definitely going to either have to choose a Barbarian or a Crusader. I'm going to tell you which one I chose. I chose the Crusader, being able to play as more of a support because a Crusader has the ability to have Holy Banner, which increases the crit chance of your team by 100%. That's insane. Also, you can make your team invulnerable for 3 seconds with the Conjuration of Light. So, I will play more of a support if I'm not a whale. If you're not a whale, I think Crusader's much better. This uh, item that you will want from your battle pass will be the Pavis of 10 wings that will help your spinning shield 
to spin around you and not return. This is great because it will give you some range to your attacks. Other legendaries you want will be the Bladed Jambo, Cavalier's Corpware, Springback Chain, and the Little Lance. All right, so if you're more of a whale, I, I prefer a Barbarian. I think a Barbarian can just go in and know that they can't die with Undying Rage. It's not a skill, it's actually a passive. So once you go to like one health, you're Trindamir, and you can continue to Whirlwind. You know how Trindamir in League of Legends just spins and spins and spins? You're invincible, plus you leech, you're 30% leech. You can have full health after that five seconds. For Barbarian, be sure to get the Remembered as your Battle Pass Legendary. Other Legendaries you will want to get is The Gathering, Screaming Fury, The Tempest, and Second Breath, Swift Wing, and Battle Master's Helm. Another class I feel is excellent for free-to-play players, and I was going to be a Necromancer as well. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to stay Necromancer. Since I'm going to be playing a Crusader, I will probably also play a Demon Hunter. I'm going to play two characters at launch at the same time, probably a Crusader and a Demon Hunter. But I was I was thinking of the combination of Barbarian and Necromancer. They do synergize well. A Barbarian goes in, has Undying. Your Necromancer gives him Bone Shield. Also, keep making him invulnerable to five attacks, no matter how strong those attacks are. Just a very good combination. Necromancer also has bone walls that can uh, knock enemies up, stagger them, slow them. You can set the bone walls on fire. They become obstacles on the playing field, completely changing the terrain. Excellent for PvP. You will want to get Pyre's Allure as the offhand from your battle pass. Other uh, legendaries you will want is Blight Maw, Exhumance Backbone, Proximal Fear, Grave Dirt's Weight, Hideous Dawning, Baleful Trinity, Guided by Maggots, Visitant Side, Desolatoria. The Monk and Wizard are just a little bit less powerful. They're not quite as powerful as the other four classes. So if some of your friends want to play a non-meta class, some class that requires more skill, you need to hit skill shots with these classes. Like the Wizard. You need to hit a, a black hole on an enemy, a clump that will clump your enemies together, which will allow you to hit the enemies with Meteor, which is a big giant ball of fire falling from the screen, but takes a very long time for it to hit. So unless you hit them with that black hole first, it's hard to hit the enemy. Your Battle Pass Legendary, you will either want the Siphon if you want a speed boost when you use Chain Nova, or you want Winter's Eye if you want to be able to teleport in and use your ice armor as an offensive weapon. It will change your ice armor into an ice storm. That was but a taste. Now the Monk is a very nice melee class, however is outshined by Crusader and Barbarian. They have the Shield of Zen, which will allow you to shield your enemies for 5 seconds. You will dash to them. In our Sanctuary, which gives you a... 9 second, 50% damage reduction, nice buffs all around, also Imprisoning Fist, which has a knockup, you can knock up and stun players every 12 seconds. So they're also decent in PvP, but requires you to hit uh, some nice skill shots. So in order to level fast, you want to be able to save your battle pass quest and do your main storyline quest first. What you want to do all your main storyline quests until you're stuck. Once you're stuck, you can do your battle pass, you can do some side quests, and you can do some layers. Then as soon as you can do the Heliquary and uh, join the Shadows at around level 43, you want to do those. Then you'll be able to do those for extra EXP. Now you're asking, why are we rushing to level 60? In all RPGs like this, you want to rush to max level because once you get to level 60, you'll be able to go to uh, Hell level. You know, like Hell 1, Hell 2, Hell 3, Hell 4 difficulties. The higher the difficulty, uh, you'll be able to get better gear. Also, you once you get to level 60, that's not the end of the grind. You'll be able to uh, farm Paragon levels. So you do want to get to level 60 as quickly as possible. This will keep you at the head of the curve. Thanks for watching. 
now you know everything you need to know about Diablo Immortal. Let me know in the comments below what class you want to play. If there's any questions, I'll be happy to answer them as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.